YouTube, it's TCG Tacos. It's been a while here. Uh, coming at you with another episode of Let's Talk About It. We have the Decidia Final Fantasy Collection of 2023. We're about to open this up, look at the contents, see if we can't come up with a deck right out of the box. First thing we have is this box here. Put your cards in here, put your stuff. It's significantly smaller than the anniversary collection that we got from 2022. And we have the cards here from the collection. Okay, so first one we're gonna start off with is the full arts. Um, got a copy of Ace, Ramza, Noctis, Shantoto, quite nice. Titus, also nice. Zidane, they say play. This one says play Nagisa. Uh, you got Cloud, Terra, Arts, Cecil is his play, that, Ethereum, Warrior of Light, uh, if, if it returns, you got the Vaughn, the new Ishtola, and we have the Lightning. Uh, so there's only two of these in the box, so if you're looking for a third one, uh, either wait till the set comes out or you're gonna have to open up another one. Uh, so the new cards, you have Bart's, New Onionite, Clouds, Virions, Future Warrior Lights, Titus, Cecils, Noctis, Terra, and lastly Shantoto. Uh, so first thing is the Bart's, so this is your searcher for the deck, uh, this is able to get you any of your DFF forwards and also gives you a crystal on entry. Uh, if you have it in the break zone, you can remove it from play. Uh, it gets you crystal. You can only do this if you have two or more DFF forwards on the field. Next up, we have the Onion Knight. It has haste. At the cost of two crystals on entry, you can go ahead and search for a category DFF forward that's three or less and bring it onto the field. Pretty easy and it pulls majority of the cards here. Uh, then it also has a special where you can deal 10k to a forward that's blocking Onion Knight. Uh, next up, we have Cloud. You can pay two crystals to put this into play instead of paying the full cost of five. It comes into play, you can choose a forward. It deals 3k for each DFF forward that you control. So a two, you're doing six. Three, you're doing 9k. That pretty much gets rid of mostly everything. Four, we'll get rid of wool and anything, you know, uh, 10k or higher. Next up, we have Fearing, being 2 CP, 5k. When it comes on the field, it, you can choose a forward. It pings for 3k. Uh, if you've got two or more DFI forwards, it pings for 7k instead. If a uh, character your opponent controls uh, is put into the break zone, it uh, gets you crystal. This is only once per turn effect. Pretty decent this character, so if they break a backup, you'll get a crystal. Or if you ping the forward, you'll also get that. Uh, next up we have Warrior of Light. Uh, whenever a DFF forward or itself comes into play, uh, you get a crystal. Uh, it's a once per turn effect and then you can use a crystal. The Warrior of Light basically gets uh, pumped for 1k and can't be targeted by abilities until end of turn. Uh, next to the win cards is Titus, uh, being 5k, it has an EX burst. When it comes into play, you can choose a forward your opponent controls, bounce it back to their hand. Whenever a forward is bounced back to your opponent's hand, uh, you get to draw a card and you gain a crystal. Uh, it's a once per turn effect also. Uh, next up we have the Cecil, uh, being 4 CP, 8k. Can't be targeted by abilities, can't take damage from abilities, or rather the damage gets reduced to zero. And then this gives all your other DFF forwards 2k, uh, making them slightly larger, which is pretty cool. Uh, also has a special at the cost of a copy of itself and one wind. Uh, choose a forward, four or more, and breaks it. Next up we have Noctis, uh, having an EX burst. We'll start with the first condition, you can only play this card uh, if you control another DFI forward. I mean, with the stats of being 9k at 3, it seems pretty fair. Uh, when it comes into play, you can choose a Delt forward, your opponent controls, breaks it. Uh, next up we have Terra, it's 3 CP, 7k. Uh, it comes into play, makes your opponent discard a card. If you've got two or more DFI forwards, uh, you gain a crystal off of that. And then you can pay crystal, tap itself, choose a forward, don't and freeze it, get the draw card. Pretty decent. Uh, lastly, we have the Shantoto. Uh, when it comes into play, you can pay two crystals. When you do, you can choose a DFF forward of five or less in your break zone and put it onto the field. Uh, it also has a special with a cost of one ice and a copy of itself. You can choose up to three characters and dull and freeze them. Right, so taking a look at these cards, uh, if you're gonna decide to go with the DFF theme, uh, this for sure is an auto include since it gets you any of the forwards, produces crystals, 
feel like this is going to be the engine of the deck, so you're pretty much locked into green or into wind. Uh, so this definitely needs to come in. Uh, this is really good for tempo. Uh, this is removal. For the most part, we're going to need quite a good number of forwards in order to get this off. This being able to pull something out of the, the deck, quite good. Uh, if you need the room, like get this out, get these out, uh, get these out as well. And then there's also like the DFF forwards that aren't included in this. Um, you can also pull them out as well. I would have to take more look into it to see what other options we have. This is being able not to like be cleared by abilities, which makes up the majority of people's decks, unless like you're playing against like Rydia Summon. Uh, this is pretty effective and having the, the break is pretty pretty relevant as well. Uh, also being able to give, you know, make all your forwards a little bigger, uh, it seems quite nice as well. Also, I think this might get slotted into like the, um, the Cecil deck is just another target for it since it is a Paladin, uh, so that there's that option as well. But Noctis unfortunately like some situational removal, you need to have the forward dull. Uh, if you can find ways to easily get them dull, it's pretty good. The discard as well as like advancing your own crystal is pretty decent. Getting back a forward for two in the break zone, so these two being, you know, two two crystals is a little heavy. This one I see a little being a little more worth it. Uh, you just have to make sure that you don't get blown out by a uh, mist dragon by it. Because uh, if you do, you, you just overpay down crystals and you don't get anything for it. This one uh, being from the deck, it just gets wrecked by Amaterasu. But both of these are pretty good depending on the situation. Being able to produce crystals with this, I uh, just have to make sure that 7k is enough. Or if you can find another way to get rid of characters that your opponent controls. It seems pretty good for this. Uh, the only thing I see the focus being is that you're gonna have to find a way to like do something with the crystals effectively, so that is gonna be something that we need to work on. And then we're gonna move on to the reprints. Uh, so you have Cosmo for color fixing, two copies of Squall, three Snow, pretty relevant with the crystals, uh, three copies of Shiva, three copies of Laguna, uh, Knights, also to get you more more crystals. Devout also gets you crystals as well as making you discard. Uh, Kate Sith that we haven't seen since the, uh, the seven starter. Uh, sure, these were pretty hard to come by ever since then. Uh, three copies of Shiva. Two of these of Dane. Three of these summons, which I'm afraid to announce its name because I'm gonna butcher it. Uh, you got three of these canes, also from the starter deck. The Dragoons. Three Selkie, uh, two Ashtola, three Alexander, three Pawn, three Terras, which is nice. I mean, this is also a, uh, a promo, but also nice to find if you weren't able to get your hands on the promos. Uh, three Onion Knight, three Ifrit, three Cyan, three of these Samurai, three of these for the Crystals. Is it two Edgar? Yeah, two Edgar. Three Bahamut. Uh, so my thoughts on this, um, I paid about 35 for it. It's basically about the same that you would pay for a custom starter deck. I'm gonna find a synergy with having to, you know, get all the crystals. It's pretty decent. Uh, you can kind of build it to how you want to. Um, you can try to build it two color. You can try to do three colors as long as you're able to do it consistently. A lot of the new cards are quite good, uh, even better in combination with some of the other cards. The only thing, um, unlike the other one, you only get like one foil. Uh, the other full arts are nice, but you're only really just getting one copy of these. Some of these you might want to run multiples in the deck, uh, which is my only gripe, at least like the other one gave you probably two, uh, one regular and one, one full art. But then again, a lot of these are nice reprints of the full arts that were either difficult to get or, you know, just sets that like we couldn't, we can't get anymore. And then this foil, uh, it's a heroic, so most likely you can just pull a foil of this in your set of uh, Opus 21. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, the full art's not even foil, considering that this is uh, from this set. So they kind of did the same to us as the uh, what, Avalanche versus Shinra. So that's a little disappointing. Do I think it's worth it? If you're a beginner, uh, yeah, this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is like the equivalent to like a custom starter deck. So this is a good starting point if you're just jumping into the game. With some upgrades that you can add to the deck, I'm pretty sure the deck will be really good uh, once we're able to make it function. Uh, as far as someone who has been playing the game for a while and they're looking for some stuff that maybe was just difficult and they couldn't get it, um, 
These are like four of the most, I wouldn't say the most played, but these are cards that do see play in the current meta. I mean, again, I kind of wish they gave us like, uh, this is fine. And then if they gave us like an extra one, so it'd be two copies. I mean, you could always just buy singles, but I mean, if you're unable to pick up individually, you may just have to buy three boxes and I'm not sure if that's worth it. But it is a good number of cards uh, that you are getting. So there is that on the plus side. Uh, I also forgot to include that they give two crystals. Uh, so that as well and let me see if I can't come up with something with the cards that they gave to us all right so after messing around with it uh, for a bit I think this is what I would take if I only had the cards straight out of the box but as we mentioned before this is your bread and butter this is gonna fetch you any of the four that you need uh, getting your crystals playing an extra copy of the Cecil um, makes sense uh, you could play almost everything uh, off of the Cecil it's also S water this is being able to like not be targeted by uh, by abilities and not taking damage seems pretty relevant and giving the, the rest of the team plus 2k seems pretty good. Adidas for your tempo plays, uh, being able to bounce forward back and be able to push with the rest of them as well as netting you um, crystal and drawing a card seems pretty good. Uh, Cloud's going to be clearing the way most of the time. If you have enough crystals I suppose you could put this in the play for free but you're not upset paying the full cost of five to put this into play. Uh, being able to jam this out and then playing something small just to get crystals up seems pretty good. Uh, you wanna try to keep this alive so you can keep producing crystals in order to get your effects off. Uh, the Onion Knight being a form of haste, uh, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six forms of haste uh, in order to, to finish the game. Uh, when your opponent at least expects it. There for that uh, synergy with the Onion Knight, either as S fodder or if this breaks, it'll put that into play and you can bring something else into play uh, when your opponent at least expects it. When you have the Furion, assuming that you've got more than uh, two DFI forwards, this can be paying for seven, a uh, combination with the Stola to ping something off for two. Uh, seems really good. Uh, that's 9k, so it's gonna clear mostly everything. Science to get you the Samurais. Uh, since we're only playing six, I don't think that's reason enough to play like the full suite of this. Also gets like some cleaves off, so uh, you're doing like two to three uh, if you have at least one of these or two of these on the board with the sign on board. Squall, which is a good target for the Onion Knight, being able to pump itself or another four on the board and you can make something like not be able to block and damage three, so it seems good for that. Uh, Kano, I think we really want to be playing multiples of it. Uh, it's just another haste outlet uh, when your opponent at least expects it. Uh, most likely coming in off of this. If need be, I guess you can cast it, but I don't think that's going to happen too often. Uh, only playing one copy of Terra since we're running uh, only five summons, so it'd be nice to recur, but uh, that's not the focus of the deck here. Uh, we have the one sedan as we are playing the two colors. Um, it's another haste and being able to rip like important cards out of your opponent's hand seems pretty decent combination with this card. Uh, you can put in the play, swing, get your damage in, bounce it back to your hand. It plays again. Uh, that's three cards removed out of your opponent's hand, uh, even though they do draw afterwards. But I mean, if you're getting relevant hits, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, maxing out on three of these, uh, since it's only like one crystal for the cost reduction, it does 9k. Uh, even at four, it's pretty good. Uh, but at two for nine, that's really good. Alexander, any character four or more, uh, you can break it. You can even be cheeky with it. You can break your own Onion Knight after getting a swing in uh, to get this into play, get another swing in, or like before you get the swing in, you pay the crystals and put something else in, so you got two haste forwards. Uh, this is also removal two if you need it to. It's really just a lot of removal in order to get like uh, your forwards through. It's really like a lot of tempo. You have your six crystal generators from backups. If you're able to get this going, it's even more, so. I don't really think getting crystals is going to be an issue with the deck. Uh, as mentioned, these get brought out with the Cyan, uh, so give your, your Fire Forwards a plus 2k and Brave. Uh, like, you still have blockers up even after. Uh, also push like a damage 5 as well, you can do it again. You find yourself at 7 seven characters, you can ping something for, for 7, uh, since you can only use it when you have that, that many characters. Uh, it's also another form of removal once you're like a damage 5. Uh, anything that's like four or more being able to give you guys first strike uh, when it might be relevant or increasing something uh, as damage by one uh, seems pretty decent uh, this is really just here for color fixing uh, has this on board you can play this as well 
I'm sure it could probably be tweaked. Um, we'll have to take a look more at uh, some DFF cards. Uh, hopefully there's some more in Opus 21 uh, to complement this set. That would be really nice. There's some sweet synergy. I, you know, I'd have to play a lot more games in order to figure it out, but like, just as a first scratch, uh, this is what I would play right out of the box. So uh, if you're new, I would totally sleeve this up, give us a try. Uh, if you're just, you know, trying this out like amongst other friends, uh, something to look at. So thanks for joining me for Let's Talk About It. Um, hope to see you next time.